This tutorial highlights some of the new and updated features in D2L Learning Environment 10.5.3 and other D2L products. Both the iOS and Android versions of Brightspace Pulse have a number of new and updated features, including new accessibility and usability improvements. Before logging in, a series of introductory screens now display. These provide an overview of how Brightspace Pulse can help learners effectively manage their time, priorities, and workload. Learners can now locate their institution by geolocation. When learners initially log in, they have the option to allow Pulse access to their location. When learners select Allow, they are offered a list of nearby institutions to help make locating their institution easier. Notifications for updated course content have been added to Brightspace Pulse. When course content is updated and the instructor checks the Notify Students that the content has changed option, learners are notified of the change in Brightspace Pulse. Once notified, learners can easily view details and navigate to the content. Administrators are now able to turn on or off Brightspace Pulse notifications. Navigate to Brightspace Feeds on the Tool Availability page. And toggle the availability on or off to configure Brightspace Pulse notifications. A new Brightspace Pulse feature visually distinguishes personal dates created by learners from those created by instructors in D2L Learning Environment. In the Date Detail view, a learner-created date is now labeled Personal. Dates created by instructors are not labeled. Two new features have been added to the User Progress tool. Instructors can identify if learners have downloaded content. From a learner's summary and content reports in the User Progress tool, instructors can identify which content topics learners have downloaded. This provides instructors with more information about learner engagement. Instructors can also use the User Progress tool to identify when learners access their courses. From the new Course Access Report, instructors can see when a learner last accessed the course and more. Note, both of these new User Progress Tool features require Brightspace Data Platform and Brightspace Insights to capture and aggregate content download and course access events. Brightspace Leap has a new feature which enables instructors to set a due date restriction for posting grades. When editing a learning path, the new Grade Synchronize Due Date option can be accessed from the Settings tab. This option enables instructors to set a due date after which D2L Leap grades are no longer synchronized with grades in the grade book. If a due date is set, learners will see a notification regarding the due date when they access the learning path. 